Naturally, most veggies are great for your health, and they're certainly healthier than processed foods. But that doesn't mean all vegetables are created equal. When it comes to broccoli and cauliflower, are you eating the wrong one? To answer this question, we're about to explore the benefits and drawbacks of these two vegetables, which may seem interchangeable, but are actually very different. Which one is higher in calories than the other? Is one much higher in nutrients? Broccoli and cauliflower are going head to head in this cruciferous veggie showdown. Plus, we'll take a look at mysterious orange and purple cauliflower to answer the question, are these varieties actually dyed and full of chemicals? We'll also reveal a surprisingly powerful anti-diabetes nutrient hidden within one of these vegetables. And we'll show you how to use one of these two veggies to create a surprisingly healthy low-carb pizza base substitute. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stick around to grab two free gifts. We're Diabetes Smarts, and we're here to bring you the best info on how to live your life beyond diabetes. Right now, get ready for the battle. It's broccoli versus cauliflower. Which is better for fighting diabetes? People with diabetes know they should try to eat plenty of non-starchy vegetables because they're high in fiber, vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals, which help prevent and fight cancer. The American Diabetes Association recommends three to five servings of non-starchy vegetables daily. A serving size is half a cup of cooked veggies or one cup raw. That might sound daunting, but to break it down, you can get three cups of cooked vegetables just by adding them into the foods you normally eat. Broccoli and cauliflower are two vegetables that go well in a veggie mix or in recipes, or they can just stand alone. Both are labeled as cruciferous vegetables, low-calorie, nutrient-dense veggies within the mustard family. In fact, many of the darker green produce varieties sold today can be traced back to the mustard plant Brassica oleracea. Cruciferous veggies are renowned for their high nutrient content, and when it comes to broccoli and cauliflower, they're also packing a surprise protein punch. In fact, both have comparably more protein than most other veggies. So both broccoli and cauliflower can be extremely helpful to you if you are on a plant-based diet. Both are also high in cancer-fighting antioxidants, while being extremely low in calories. One cup of cooked broccoli contains about 30 calories, while one cup of cooked cauliflower has just 25. Okay, let's take a deeper dive into broccoli. Despite its stigma for being a quote-unquote gross food for kids, this cost-effective veggie can be easily turned into a delicious suppertime staple. It's good roasted, steamed, in veggie salads, or just dipped in your favorite healthy sauce. And this veggie packs quite the punch when it comes to nutrients. Vitamin A. Broccoli has a good amount of vitamin A, while cauliflower doesn't have any. Vitamin A strengthens your immune system and eye health. It also supports heart, kidney, and lung function. Lutein and zeaxanthin. Both of these antioxidants are critical to eye health. They protect your eyes against cataracts and macular degeneration, where your vision blurs and darkens. Vitamin C. A cup of raw broccoli has 89 milligrams of vitamin C. That's pretty significant when we consider that the National Institutes of Health recommends men consume 90 milligrams per day. Women are recommended to consume 75 milligrams of vitamin C each day. So just one cup of raw broccoli can get your body across the vitamin C finish line. In this case, cauliflower does have some vitamin C, about half the amount of broccoli at 48 milligrams. So broccoli wins this category as well. This vitamin is famous for helping your immune system, especially when you're fighting off a cold. It also aids in heart and skin health. Vitamin K. Broccoli and cauliflower both have vitamin K, but yet again, broccoli has much more. Half a cup of broccoli has 169 micrograms of vitamin K. That doesn't sound like much, but men need only 120 micrograms per day. Women need just 90. 
In comparison, 100 grams of cauliflower will provide 20% of the recommended amount. Fiber. If you're eating the recommended three cups of cooked vegetables a day, you probably don't need to count fiber to ensure you're getting enough. But both broccoli and cauliflower contain a healthy quantity of this vital nutrient. Coming in at 3.8 grams per 100 gram serving, broccoli bests cauliflower in the fiber department, which clocks in at two grams. Of course, fiber is essential for anyone worried about diabetes, as it aids digestion and plays a key role in lowering blood sugar levels. Now, this next nutrient might surprise you. Omega-3 fatty acids. That's right, this beneficial fatty acid isn't just found in fish. One cup of cooked broccoli contains about 186 milligrams of omega-3 fats. Meanwhile, one cup of cooked cauliflower contains 207 milligrams of omega-3 fats, giving cauliflower the edge in the omega-3 department. There are vegetables that contain a higher amount of omega-3s, but nutritionists recommend that we consume between 250 and 500 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids each day. This means a bit of either broccoli or cauliflower can go a long way towards reaching that daily omega-3 goal. Ready to learn the powerful ingredient hidden within broccoli? It's a compound called sulforaphane. Sulforaphane is a nutritionally dense organosulfur compound found within the isothiocyanates group. It's anti-carcinogenic, anti-inflammatory, and can aid detoxification. Lowering inflammation is vital for diabetics, as it can improve gut health and may prevent many diseases in the body. In fact, a 2013 study at the University of East Anglia found that sulforaphane can help lessen the effects of arthritis, as it blocks the enzymes that cause joint destruction by stopping a key molecule known to cause inflammation. And critically, a 2017 study published in the journal Science Translational Medicine discovered that sulforaphane might actually turn down the expression of 50 genes associated with symptoms of type 2 diabetes. In this study, individuals who weren't obese didn't see any results from taking a broccoli sprout extract, but the obese individuals experienced a 10% decline in their fasting blood glucose levels. This means that broccoli can be a wonderful anti-inflammatory tool which may reduce your diabetic or osteoarthritis damage. How to choose the best broccoli. Healthy broccoli will be bright green and firm and have compact florets. Those are the bushy beads on top, which are actually flower buds. Stay away from any that appear to have woody stems or yellow florets. These are telltale signs that it's an older plant and past its peak ripeness. So yeah, overall, broccoli is coming out on top thus far. But hold on, let's look at some surprising facts about cauliflower. It might be due to the lack of color in cauliflower, but this vegetable hasn't been studied as much as other veggies. That could also be due to its lower vitamin content, especially compared to broccoli. As previously mentioned, cauliflower narrowly beats broccoli when it comes to which has less calories. But the calorie contents of both broccoli and cauliflower are extremely low, and calories are only a small part of the picture. When exploring the nutritional benefits of cauliflower, we need to take a very close look at its amazing cancer-fighting properties. Cauliflower contains sulfur, nitrogen, and glucosinolates. When you chew and digest glucosinolates, they break down into compounds that inhibit cancer cell growth and even kill certain types of cancer cells. They also protect cells and have anti-inflammatory, antiviral, and antibacterial effects. But here's a surprise. One big benefit of cauliflower doesn't lie so much in what it has, but in how you can use it. So let's discover the many uses of cauliflower. While broccoli may be more nutrient dense than cauliflower, it also has a stronger flavor that might make it unsuitable as a food substitute. Cauliflower, on the other hand, can be an amazingly healthy low carb and low calorie alternative for both mashed potatoes and rice. You can even use it to create bread substitutes. Potatoes, white rice, and white breads are all very starchy and carb-heavy, 
so they're not a great choice for diabetics. But let's face it, who among us doesn't still get cravings for some good old mashed potatoes? Instead, try steaming or boiling cauliflower and then mashing them up. Add a little seasoning and suddenly you have a delicious addition to your dinner. If you want to supercharge your mashed cauliflower, add nutritional yeast instead of butter. It's made especially for flavoring food and doesn't have any live yeast cells. In fact, nutritional yeast's flavor makes it a go-to as cheese and butter substitutes. Plus, nutritional yeast offers a variety of health benefits, including all nine essential amino acids, protein, and vitamin B. Rice is another high-carb and high-calorie food, but one that's versatile. But instead of white rice, consider riced cauliflower. You can purchase riced cauliflower or simply make it yourself. Chop the cauliflower into chunks and then pulse those in a food processor to get a rice-like texture. Riced cauliflower can be sautéed with olive oil or even sesame oil for that Asian cuisine kick. Plus, incredibly, cauliflower is so versatile that you can use it to create a low-carb pizza crust. Simply rice one cauliflower head, then steam, and then mix with two eggs, a half a cup of shredded mozzarella, some salt and pepper, then spread it thinly onto a baking sheet and bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. And that's it. Now you have an amazingly healthy, low-carb pizza crust substitute. We're about to reveal the secrets behind mysterious purple and orange cauliflower. But first, here's how you can claim your two free gifts. Simply click the link in the description below to grab the Diabetes Smarts free book, Superfoods for Diabetics. Plus, get free access to view episode one of the Diabetes Smarts eight-part series, That Diabetes Documentary. Again, just click that link below to get both. And now, as promised, it's time to take a closer look at those odd, colorful cauliflower varieties. So, what's up with purple and orange cauliflower? Colorful cauliflower isn't as commonly available as its white counterpart, but you can still find them in certain stores. But the big question is, are they dyed? No. The color in both orange and purple cauliflower is natural, and it brings extra health benefits. Orange cauliflower was first noted in Canada back in 1970, when a Toronto farmer discovered it naturally occurring in a field of otherwise white cauliflower. Scientists at Cornell University then crossbred it with white cauliflower to produce the modern versions now found across the globe. The genetic mutation that makes the vegetable orange does so because it allows the plant to hold more beta-carotene, the same nutrient that makes carrots orange. Beta-carotene is an antioxidant which can improve brain, eye, lung, and even skin health. Along with more beta-carotene, orange cauliflower has 25% more vitamin A than white cauliflower. Purple varieties of cauliflower have this color due to their anthocyanins, the same beneficial antioxidant which makes grapes purple. These flavonoid compounds are what also give red cabbage and red wine healthful properties. Want to give orange or purple cauliflower a try? Check your local farmer's market or health food stores, which tend to carry these specialized cauliflower more than typical chain supermarkets. When buying any cauliflower, look for uniform color and compact florets. The flavor varies a little with purple or orange cauliflower, but all varieties can be roasted, steamed, mashed, or riced. And now, it's time for the final showdown. In the battle of broccoli versus cauliflower, Who's the winner? In the end, broccoli comes out on top. While both vegetables have similar nutrients, broccoli just has a higher percentage of most. But cauliflower is good too. It wins the Versatility Award, as this nutrient-dense veggie can easily replace some of the more unhealthy food choices, particularly certain higher-carb foods like bread and rice. And maybe you can get your hands on purple or orange cauliflower for a little extra nutritional value. So there you have it. When it comes to broccoli and cauliflower, broccoli comes out on top for nutrition. But cauliflower can be a wonderful substitute for pizza bases, potatoes, and rice. 
At the end of the day, both of these cruciferous veggies can make their way into your everyday diet, both for flavor and for some truly amazing anti-diabetes benefits. While you're here, please make sure to like and subscribe and check out our always expanding video library to discover other diabetes fighting tips and tricks. And don't forget to click the link in the description below to grab your two free gifts. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.